Desinfekt. Hello, this is Snowboard Review TV, supported by Peak Leaders. So the second board of the day is the Burton Supermodel. It's a classic board. Um, kind of the design heads at Burton have been building this board for years and years. It was one of Craig Kelly's uh, favourite boards. So big expectations on this. It's directional shape uh, with 10 millimetres of taper, much like the Salomon Burner, which I just tested. Um, it's got the channel system on the bindings, and then it has the lightning bolts, which are carbon reinforcement that go from the channel system to the edge, so like that. And that goes all the way around, and that's supposed to give um, quite a bit more response on the board. Um, it's also got a negative core profile, so at the feet, the core's slightly thicker, whereas between the bindings and at the tips, um, it goes thinner, and that means that the board is easier to flex at the nose and tail and in the middle, uh, and then slightly harder to flex, certainly torsionally, um, at the feet, so you still get loads of grip at your feet and loads of response. Um, other features, it's got the WFO Sinter base, which is supposed to be really fast and wax absorbent. Um, it's got the, uh, the new damping system that Burton have introduced, um, which is supposed to be really good. And strangely enough, it's got a twin flex, so although the board's directional, um, it, the flex is, uh, the nose and tail should flex exactly the same. So I'm really interested to try this out, and uh, I'll let you know what I think. We've come out to a video review, but the weather isn't exactly perfect for it. The clouds closed in and it's pretty much white out out here. I'm on the supermodel, we're trying... Look, I am actually riding it, there you go, there's evidence. Um, fantastic board by the way. Um, I am going to try and get some footage of it, but it's proving pretty difficult, so fingers crossed. So yesterday was a bit of a disaster, um, not only was the weather poor so we couldn't really film much but the camera packed in about 10 minutes before we were going to film the uh, ending where I talk about the board. So I'm here at home um, in the beautiful Flakau, a bit cloudy and I'm not going to bother going riding today so I thought I'd talk you through what the supermodel was like. Um, quite a different board to the burner which I just tested, um, a much narrower waist which made it much quicker edge to edge. Uh, and a lot less damping on it. Although Burton are using their new damping system on it, it didn't feel anywhere near as damp and I didn't feel it anywhere near as confident absolutely gunning it. So uh, the twin flex, that's an interesting one. Uh, it definitely makes the board feel different to more conventional directional flexed free ride boards. Um, it really worked in tighter calves. When I was in softer snow and dancing from edge to edge and then really pumping through the calves, it really really worked for that so for things like riding trees and glades that kind of stuff absolutely perfect with the twin flex the shape on it the tapered shape although it's only the same as the burner it felt a lot more tapered and the tail felt really slashy that might be something to do with the the setback stance but for me that really worked um i think overall the super model isn't the kind of charger that people think it is. I think it's more of an intermediate free ride board or a powder rider who really likes a surfy, soulful feel. Um, I wouldn't ride it for anything that was really steep cool wires and that kind of stuff, unless there was a lot of snow around. Um, and I think that's probably why they used to have the Supermodel X, which was a bit beefed up. But a very fast base, um, nice dancey ride, and certainly a board for intermediate free riders who want to get a board that floats in powder and makes free riding just that that little bit more fun so nice board but not a charger